And we move now to Turkey, where Foreign Minister Mevlut Kavusoglu says authorities have confirmed the identity of the gunman who killed 39 people at an Istanbul nightclub on Sunday. Kavusoglu says work is underway to reveal more details about that attack. Police have detained 27 people with potential links to the Reina shooting, including three families believed to be close to the assailant. Meanwhile, the Turkish military says its forces have killed six ISIL fighters and shelled over 100 terrorist targets in the northern Syrian city of Al-Bab. The extremist group claims it was behind the New Year's shooting. Well, let's get you more now on that story. I'm joined live from Istanbul by Michal Badavid. Uh, Michal, the Turkish government says it has identified the attacker. What do we know about him and the other people detained by Turkish police? Yes, Beatrice. First of all, the Turkish government has announced that they do know the identity, yet they did not share it with the public yet. But they did want to assure, they want to bring back a sense of security. They want to assure the society, the public in Turkey, that they are uh, carrying out the manhunt and they do know who the uh, man behind this attack is. Now, the Turkish government has also uh, published new images of the man uh, from the time of the attack. Uh, we see uh, images of him in an apartment in a house as he leaves uh, the district of Zeytinburnu, which is an area that's uh, very close to the Istanbul Atatürk airport. We see him leaving the house and taking a taxi where he's later seen uh, in front of the Reyna nightclub where he carried out the attack. Now a lot more people were detained. As you mentioned, this was in Izmir, the city of Izmir. Uh, at least 27 people were taken into custody. Uh, these were all members of the same fa of three different families, uh, and they were included uh, women and children as well. It is believed that they traveled from the city of Konya to Izmir during the last three weeks, and that at some point uh, the attacker was uh, living together with these families. So they, they believe that they can get a lot more information uh, that would be useful for the investigation once they have these people in custody and they can carry out the investigation with them. Beatrice. Well, Michelle, apart from those images released by the government, government there. What's, what are the latest statements? What's the government, the Turkish government now saying? Well, first of all, the Turkish government has been condemning the attack. They've been trying to uh, bring back a sense of security, but they've also uh, tried to unite the country. Uh, right now, uh, the Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan, he made a statement and he said that uh, they would not let terror divide the country. He said, and I quote, there is no point in trying to blame the Ortaköy attack in differences in lifestyles. This is all part of an operation to divide our country and sideline the political will. Nobody's lifestyle is under systematic threat in Turkey. We will never allow this. This was the words of a Turkish president type Erdogan. He, he felt the need to make the statement because following the attack, unfortunately, there were a lot of messages on social media praising the attack, showing support of the terror attack. Uh, so uh, they wanted to make sure that this is not okay, uh, according to the Turkish government. Uh, the Turkish Prime Minister, Bin Ali Yildirim, he made a statement earlier and he said that uh, messages that praise the attack. They would be investigated right now. 347 social media users are under investigation for messages that praise the attack. So uh, for, first of all, they're trying to make sure that people know that this is not acceptable for the Turkish government, Beatrice. Right, uh, Michelle Badavi joining us there from Istanbul.